Hello guys, in this lesson we are going to learn how to use navigation shortcuts and index and autofill functions in MS Excel. So this is the data set that I am using here about this data set is the intensive data of my students. So uh, one thing is that is missing here is the serial number. Okay. So serial number we can give or we can give the index, we can uh, create the index here that is called 1. Okay, suppose I here it is one. You can see this is one uh, when I put my cursors outside the cell. So there is a kind of red cross symbol is coming. When it is I am moving the cursor here, this is a change, it is happening. It's a plus icon, it is coming. So if I click here, what will happen? So the same thing is repeated. The same thing is repeated, which I am not looking for here. So I have to show or I have to tell Excel a pattern so that it can create the index. So suppose I will write it like 2, 3. These are unique number. Okay. 4. So suppose I will do like this. One second, I click here. So you see, look at the change. It is happening. So automatically what it is doing, it is creating the serial number or it is making the index. Okay. Suppose I want to make it, I was I want to give it a different, like two different, like three, five. Accordingly, it will also understand the patterns. One, three, five. Okay. Then I can also do the same thing. Like you can see the change of two. That means incremental number of two, it is coming. Okay, which I have not actually this is not good. So let us go by the earlier one two three okay so we can use in this uh, way that uh, we can uh, uh, create index for this so next thing that we want to understand how to create how to use power how to make the uh, uh, use of navigation shortcut for this this is the first cell of the serial number Suppose I want to move to the last cell in the column. So what I can do, I can press control and down arrow. Simple, it tells there are 63 students are there. One second, I want to go back. What I can do, press control and upper. So it is coming to the top. Similarly, you can also use the right arrow button like press control and right arrow. It is coming here. You can see and if I want to come to the like first cell of the row, then I can also come use this like left arrow. Okay. So one thing that we must remember is that when we are using this uh, navigation shortcuts, so this data has to be continuous. Suppose take for example, let me delete it. Seven is deleted in the serial number. Okay. That means that this cell is empty. If I move, I want to move to the last cell. So since the cell is empty, it will make a stop here. Okay, control plus down arrow. So since it is empty, seven is empty, it didn't go, it didn't move. So then I can uh, uh, go to the next, like again, then I can get it. Okay, this is how we can make use of the navigation shortcut. Let us write here. Okay. Excel also understands, suppose in the reverse order that you want to put, like 5, 4, 3, and you want to, this is a like reducing uh, decremental, you can see this is going minus, minus 1 it is coming, so this is also possible. Then. Another thing that we can also understand, Excel here understand a pattern that we are giving. Suppose I will write Monday. Monday. Okay, what is Monday? Monday is a date. Monday is a date. Suppose I drag it here like this. You can see automatically because Excel has a memory. Excel understands that it is a date. It is a day field. And suppose I will write like shortcut i will write mon mon for monday accordingly i can also 
drag it by default it will work. you can get it like this then similarly you can write also like month take for example january okay so it will also if you drag it like this it will give you all the month in the sequence that we are looking for similarly we can also make use of the shortcut like january okay. so we can also it will give us all the shortcut okay so this is the autofill functions in excel we can also make use of this this is very much essential when you have a huge sort of data suppose take for example you have the uh, data for 10000 customers and you want to give them index so in that case you can do it like this you can develop a pattern and drag it so it will do your job very easily that's for the lessons i will see you in the next one